Please let this be in the classroom. With Broad Street? No way! Cruise into the future, you're relaxed and feeling good. Next thing that you know, you're feeling ah! Working on a deadline, sifting through ideas. Grab a camera from the closet, while the night has just begun with the new tech news room. That's Jake Da Vinci. Come to the new tech news room. Get your minds on it. Take five. In the new tech news room. We learn to use a camera. In the new tech news room. Such a fine place to be. So find a couch and take a seat. Come on in and don't be shy. Just to make your day complete, you might have to voice a pie in the new tech fuse room. Step inside, it's a grand old time. Come on. All in the new tech fuse room. Graduating is such a hassle. Oh yeah, I forgot you have to do all that capstone work, loser. And you're gonna be lonely without me next year, loser. No. Tried to replace you. No one's gonna show up to this. No, yeah, look, 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 look. Um, hey, is this for the replacing Amy thing? Yes. If I were to insult you, what would be your response back to me? A, insult me back, B, apologize, C, tell a trust adult, or fist fight me? Well, I would probably apologize, so B. Too nice. This is gonna go a lot worse than I expected. So hypothetically, if we had downtime, like in independent study, or, you know, during the day, where would we go to hang out? Uh, the media center, I guess. I mean, it's a cool place to hang out. Wrong. Broad streets always. Mmm, <sighs> no. 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 So you know what Fuse is, right? What do you think it is? Um, it's an elective. I mean, it's a useless class. You don't need it to graduate. Don't you ever say that about that class ever again. Get out of here! Oh, uh, what are your plans for the future? Well, you see, I'm going to college next year, and I plan to absolutely kill it in college. Like, I'm just looking forward to moving forward, you know? Aman, why are you here? This is a position for next year. Oops. No, Lou. Oh, all of these people just aren't really what I'm looking for. I think you're being too harsh, man. Really? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't see you there. Uh, if I were to say something stupid, what would your response be? Okay. If I were to call you a name like Poopy Head, what would your response be? I think we have our winner. Really? You didn't even say anything. Exactly. Watching the Nutcracker. No! Where am I? Who are you? It doesn't matter. You know why you're here. No, why am I here? Yesterday on Instagram at 3.27 p.m., you posted on your Instagram story saying that Avatar 2, The Way of the Water, was a bad movie. You even said that the whales were unnecessary. Well, 
I mean, it's not a bad movie. It just didn't need the three-hour watch time and ten years for preparation. Well, we needed that three-hour runtime so that we could get well acquainted with Jake Soli, Natiri, and their new beautiful family. Well, the middle was boring, and there were too many underwater scenes. What do you expect? It's in the name of the film, and also it's to show the new technology that Cameron used to make the film as well. Well, I'll say the CGI was amazing, but I feel it was a little, <coughs> a little wasted. What do you mean, wasted? It was used perfectly, okay? It fits so well with the environment of the story and the characters. All right, that's, that's enough. Can you just please say one thing you liked about the movie? Please. I thought the character designs were good. Oh. Thank you. Okay, finally. One good thing about the movie. That's great. That's good. You can go now. Thank goodness, I'm gonna go watch Avatar when I get home. Oh, the first one? No, wrong Avatar. I'm gonna go watch Avatar The Last Airbender, live action. What? what? Can you please repeat that? I'm gonna go watch Avatar The Last Airbender, live action. Get back, get back in the chair. <laughs> that movie was so terrible. It, it makes Morbius look like a good movie. Oh, is it because the live action was a letdown from the animated series? Yes! Um, yes, in so many ways. How is it bad? Give me three reasons why. The pronunciation of the characters were terrible. The tone was incorrectly placed from the original. And basically everything from book one was just squeezed into one movie. Alright, this has gone on too long. We all have our own respected opinions, and I'm going home. No, 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 you're staying here for five years. No, no, five years will change your mind. Let's go. Let's see if five years in prison will actually fix your movie taste. My name is Becca, I'm a sophomore, and my hot take is that Chick-fil-A sauce is overrated, and the best to eat with is avocado lime ranch dressing. Uh, my name is Jane Thurgood, I'm a freshman at New Tech, and my hot take is that pickles are disgusting. I'm Cameron, I'm in 12th grade, and I think the Weezer Teal album was good. My name is Ramir Bose, uh, I'm in 12th grade, and I think that bacon tastes horrible. My name is Abby Thurgood, I'm a junior, and goldfish are better than Cheez-Its. I'm Blake, I'm a sophomore, and my hot take is that baseball is better than football. My name is Hippolyte, I'm a sophomore, and Samsungs are better than iPhones. Uh, I'm Jacob, I'm in ninth grade, and my hot take is that um, Dr. Pepper should not be allowed to be sold in stores. My name's Ivan, I'm a senior. Um, I think that Kendrick Lamar is by far the best rapper, and it's not close. Like, you can debate me on this, it's not close. Second is not close. Uh, my name is Timothy, uh, I am a senior, and my hot take is that ketchup is an overrated, nasty, overly sugary condiment made for little kids who haven't developed their taste buds, because they just put it on everything. My name is Kate, I'm a senior, and my hot take is that Cane's is the worst fast food there is. It's disgusting. The chicken tastes like oil, and they only sell chicken, which is really bad, because if your one product is nasty, it's not a very good business. Their sauce is horrendous. I can literally make it right now, and it'll taste exactly the same. So, Your lack of planning is not my emergency. Uh-huh. Hello, my name is Benjamin Hall, and my hot take, the state of Vermont is underrated. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. I won the lottery. Do I get to do more than one thing? Yeah. Okay. Um, I would probably be the change. How would I explain the internet to a caveman? Um... Uh, the bicycle chain, because I don't think you have a bicycle without a chain. Um, uh, boring things first. 
the internet. Explain it to a caveman. Wouldn't want to be seen, obviously, for obvious reasons. <laughs> um, I'd pay off all my bills. So. <laughs> Wouldn't want to be the tire because you know there's always something wrong with the tire. The internet would be this um, resource. Be flat, whatever. But the chain is. The that has any information that you want to find, um, whether it be true or false. After that, um, and uh, I would buy a house on a Caribbean island and just chill there. Sometimes it can listen to what you're saying and pick things to show you that'll like face on what you're saying. Chain makes it go. So I would say a chain. Like when I was talking about magnetism, and then my phone decided to show me ads about magnets on Amazon. Dogs. They're energetic like me, and they're fun, and they're soft, and, and, and they've got a lot of energy. Jerry. But that's also can be a bad thing. Cats when I want to be calm and serene and just be loved on. Dogs when I am full of energy. Always messes with Tom and he never gives up. My husband hates cats, so I'm not allowed to have a cat. So we have a dog. Go dogs. Team dogs. <laughs> just give me a pick my nose. Oh, okay. <laughs>